All right, hey folks, good morning. It's Ben Capozzi with the Main Street Gardener. And um, I'm just gonna talk to you real quick this morning. Uh, first tree I'm planting is a Carter's Blue, which is a, a pretty uh, neat uh, apple with an interesting story. Um, I'll just go ahead and get into it now. The, um, the rain is uh, slowing down. It rained for about an hour, so I had to stop in the middle of my task this morning. But uh, Carter's Blue, uh, originated back in Alabama in uh, the 1840s and it was the only things that I've read about so far is that it was just it was well regarded and a highly flavored apple and um, then about in the 1860s uh, scions um, cuttings of those trees went to uh, France and then in the 1940s uh, cuttings or scions um, from those trees that were grown in France then went to England where they became part of their uh, national fruit tree collection or germplasm or whatever um, which is great because uh, Carter Blue was extinct in the United States for uh, quite a while. Um, I got my cuttings, uh, my scion wood from a friend uh, over on NAFX and um, so it's kind of cool that uh, now I'm planting and grafting a tree that uh, started in Alabama uh, in the 1840s and then was just kind of uh, gone um, from the United States um, for uh, 150 years or so. Um, or at least the scion uh, that I grafted and that I'm planting today uh, comes from uh, trees that were grown in Britain, that came from trees that were grown in France, that came from trees that started out, um, I think in the 1860s, it came from an Atlanta, Georgia, or some Georgia area nursery. So that's kind of a cool history um, for uh, a fruit tree. Um, so let's get this thing in the ground. I'll show you the tree now. So this is my Carter Blue tree. Um, I grafted it uh, earlier this year. Let me put down my coffee. And we'll see, I grafted this on April 22nd, earlier this year. Uh, the rootstock is Antonovka, like uh, a lot of my trees. Um, rootstock is Antonovka, so from here, there's the graft. From here, this is the original stick of Carter Blue that a friend sent me. And then this is the bit of growth that we had uh, since April. And um, so that's pretty cool. This tree uh, is late ripening, um, late September, sorry, uh, not super late, but late September. So I'm actually gonna put it uh, right about here between this black limber twig and this uh, crow's egg, uh, both of which are also kind of around the same time. And they're both fairly disease resistant, which is great because Carter Blue does have some susceptibility to cedar apple rust. But, um, you know, if it really, really performs poorly, I can always uh, cut it down and overgraft it. So let's get it in the ground. I'll move this Yates and we'll get started. All right, so this Carter Blue apple tree is in the ground. The only thing left that I'm going to come back and do is, uh, and I can't do it, record video and cut at the same time, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to take these uh, side branches of Antonovka. That's the rootstock. I'm going to take those off. And then this tree will be done. Um, I'll come back and mulch it with leaves and straw. You can see I've already put down, um, I've spread some clover seed as well as a, a little bit of uh, cornmeal. And uh, then this tree will be good to go. I won't see it again until um, spring and it should be fine. It's much too small for me to take any scion wood, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. Thanks for watching.